We back, man. How's everybody doing? Hopefully, everybody having an amazing day. Now, before we get into this one real quick, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, man. Yo, I hope everybody is enjoying time with their family. Y'all got your hot chocolate. Y'all opened y'all gifts already. Y'all about to put on y'all Christmas films, y'all Christmas flicks y'all taking, you know what I mean? And all positive vibes today. Nothing negative. Keep all the negativity out of the 25th of December, you know what I mean? And we're going to get into this one real quick. Yo, today I wanted to cover a song that, you know, meant something to me. About two months ago was the first time I ever covered a Mo Bad song. You know, I was getting requested to cover him a lot. I covered the song Peace. The response was crazy. You know, I asked mad questions because I'm just learning about him. You know, like, he's one of the artists I learned about kind of after. Shout out everybody that, you know, came to the comments, went to my Instagram, even emailed me. Just, you know, filling me in on a case, telling me everything I needed to know. It was a crazy response, and everybody wanted me to do the song, Ask About Me. I purposely didn't cover the song because I said I want to drop this joint on Christmas because mad people want to see me do it, and mad people want to hear it. You know, um, for the Americans, if y'all don't know about Mo Bad yet, yo, when I'm telling you he was sick, the music is crazy. Y'all going to see when I play it right now. It's crazy. But I do want you guys to fill me in on what's the latest on the case. Hopefully, Mo Bad family is getting justice. I have been looking up certain things. I know the information probably, you know, don't get to me as fast as it might get to some of you guys who've been following him for a long time. But I do want to, you know, just see what's going on. And hopefully, you know, him and his family get justice. And, you know, this is a sad situation because as many people answered the questions for me and told me, like, what was going on, I still was kind of confused, like, what happened. They were saying the autopsy was taking a while or the autopsy didn't say some people think he got poisoned. Some people think he got set up. But let me know, you know, because I am curious about this. And, uh, you know, we're going to get into this one, man. What I do want to say also, I started a Patreon for everybody that, you know, I cover artists and I cover their albums a lot. A lot of times you guys don't get to see the albums. When I put it up, the songs is blocked. Block it worldwide. You guys can't see it. And, then you know, you put an hour of work in to, you know, get the songs and the albums out that you guys want to hear. And, uh, you know, it don't ever come up. So I started a Patreon where I can put up anything I want to. Nothing gets blocked. Uh, I have it up. I'm having it in the link. I actually have the WizKid album right now. The uh, the WizKid EP that he just dropped. You know, it's going crazy. Everybody like it. It's real dope, too. You know what I mean? So we vibing out on the Patreon. Definitely come over to the Patreon real quick. I'm also going to do Mobaz album also. You know, I'm going to try to get it on YouTube first if it don't. Definitely going to be on the Patreon, but the Wiz Kid joint is on the Patreon now. Y'all definitely come through, show some love to the Patreon if y'all, you know, if y'all like what I'm doing. And we're going to get into this one real quick. This one is Mo Bad, Ask About Me. And I didn't, I didn't tell y'all, definitely shout out where y'all watching from, man. You know, every video we shout somebody out. This video, we're not going to shout anybody out because, you know, I took so long on the intro. But we're going to get into this one real quick. This Mo Bad, Ask About Me. Let's see what he's talking about. Yo, to the people that's just hearing Mobad the first time right now, y'all see what I'm talking about, man. Like, yo, he sounds so. Di this song sounds different. I haven't heard. This sound like it would be like on a Coming to America soundtrack, but it's just so many different like sounds in this one song. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. This joint is fire already. You know what I mean? Like, I'm mad it's only. It, it says like three minutes. I want. I wish this was one of them joints that go on for like six minutes and just play out. Even after, just had a beat going for like two minutes after with even no words. You know. But let's enjoy it. So I'm hearing this is his biggest song to date. Y'all let me know, am I right? And let me know, is the album crazy too? You know, let me know. I'm going to definitely cover the album on the Patreon, real talk. 
Okay. That's smooth, this is right here. Yo, if you don't get a feel, you don't get like an energy when you hear this, I don't know what's up with you, man. Something wrong with you. This this is just a feel. I've never heard anything like this. You know what I mean? Like at all. I can't think of another song that sounds similar. What I do want to say, yo, he reminds me of like, like Nipsey, right? The people that knew about him. Before, you know, his passing is the people, you know, like they got to appreciate him while he was here. But every, the rest of the world probably got onto him later. But people don't even know the potential. The potential was so crazy. He probably have been the dopest artist in a year. You know what I mean? Probably be the dopest artist this year, you know? And when I say the dopest, I'm talking about worldwide, not just the dopest in Nigeria. You know what I mean? Like this joint is crazy. You got to think we listen to all, we listen to Burner Boy. We love, we listen to Wiz Kid. We listen to all David O. And and when I say we, I'm talking about as the Americans and, you know, as artists that we don't run into sometimes. But if we like them, listen to the song. This song is crazy. This song already sound like one of the dopest songs I've heard in a long time. The video crazy, too. And you know what's crazy when you don't even understand everything and it's still, it don't mean nothing. Like it still feel like you connect with it, but you don't even understand the words all the way. You don't even understand the language all the way, but you still connect with it. Like you feel like it's you, you know what I mean? That's that's when you know a dope song, when you just feel, you see a piece of you in the song, you know what I mean? This part is crazy. Yo, the instrumental is crazy. The background singer is crazy. Everything about this is crazy. And I love the song Peace, too. That one, you know, they both so crazy. I don't even know. You know what I mean? I like both the same, though. That's about me. And then it's like, what he talking about? You know what I mean? Ask about me, ask about me. You know what I mean? Like, it's so real because it's like, now everybody asking him. You know, look how many questions I asked last video. How many questions I want to ask right now, but you know, I'm, I still want to enjoy the music. But it's so many questions I want to ask. Like, I know they said he was a producer. They said he was a songwriter. My question is like, was he getting the love and the respect in Nigeria? Right. So, like, let's use Nip for an example, right? Nip in L.A., people looked at Nip as one of the best artists in L.A., but in Arkansas, they might not have been on Nip, like, in L.A., where he was from, his home. But in L.A., he got that respect, you know what I mean? He was always in the top conversations. Was Mo Bad in the top conversations back home in Nigeria, you know? When people, you know, talked about the likes of the artists I named earlier, the Burner Boys, the Wiz Kids, the, you know, David O's, was Mo Bad name up there, or was it like he's on his way? You know what I mean? I'm just trying to understand, like, you know, where he was at exactly at the time of his passing, you know what I mean? Um, and another question I want to ask, too, is, like, how don't they understand with the autopsy what happened, you know? Because that's what everybody... People are still messaging me about it now, you know, when everybody keeps saying the autopsy's taking a while, but I know it's been so long already, I don't get why they don't know exactly what happened, you know, like... Tell me which and, and tell me what you guys think happened, you know? Tell me what you guys think, you know? Because it, it's definitely seemed like it's more to it, you know? It seemed like it's deeper, like it's deeper than rap, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's more to the situation. But y'all let me know. Let me just keep, let me, you know, I brought it back a little bit just because I was talking. Let's keep it going. Mm 
Okay. Okay. Yo, this is making me mad. Like, I keep missing going out to Ghana and Nigeria in December. You know, like I told people on the Wizkid uh, album review that I did, I got mad people out there right now. My man, he out there for a wedding. You know, he got on, you know, all the gear and everything. You know, he from Harlem. He from New York. But, you know, his, his close friend is actually from Ghana. And, you know, he's one of the uh, groomsmen. But, you know, he's sending me pics. I got everybody else leaving, you know, on the 28th. Some people staying at the Poughkeepsie, Poughkeepsie, Poughkeepsie Hotel. Some people staying in, uh, I don't know, all different types of, you know, all different places and all that. But I'm just like, yo, dang, I, I keep missing it. I got to make it out there. I'm going to make it out there 2024. I don't need to make it out there for December, though, just because I don't need to be out there with all the Americans and everybody visiting. I want to be out there with the locals, you know. I want to be out there. I want to be the only tourist at the time, you know what I mean? I want to be walking around just talking to nothing but locals, people that's from there, connect with everybody, you know what I mean? But also, I'm going to take that flight over to Nigeria, you know, and, uh, you know, my pe- I got two people out there right now, too. One of my homegirls, she took her mom out there and her dad, and they out there for December. So I'm going to be out there, man, but this song is making me just, like, want to go. You know what I mean? It's making me just want to see what it's like, man, because all I really, you know, I just see the movies, the, 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 the music, but I never really touch down. And I travel a lot. I've been all through Europe. I've been all through Central America, South America, but never been, you know, to the continent yet. Let's keep it going on. I speed it up right here. Is this your favorite joint from Mobad, man? What song y'all like better? This or Peace? I know Peace means <clears throat> I know Peace means a lot right now. I know Peace Peace means well, maybe both means a lot, especially since this is one of his biggest songs at the moment. But which one y'all you know with rock with more? Y'all let me know. Um I rock with it, man. I like it. Definitely gonna be covering the album, man. Y'all tell me y'all favorite joints for him. And give me some other artists y'all want me to check out. You know, I don't wanna only check out the artist that is Billboard 100, you know, who's getting number three, number two, number one on the charts. I'm gonna check everybody out. You know what I mean? Uh, that was Mobad, rest in peace. Uh, yeah, we rock with him, man. We rock with the music. And, you know, hopefully I like this joint. See y'all on the next one. All right, peace.